Welcome back to Plasticity 2025.1. Today we're going to go over the brand new and improved UI. Nice, clean, fresh look for the new year. So let's go ahead and let's start going around the screen here. Let's take a look at what we got. Okay, so on the right side, upper right here, we still got our shaders, all our different shaders here. Pretty much the same as the previous version. Uh, if we have our own matte caps, we can, they will be populated in this one, all matte caps. Now with uh, certain shaders, like some of these down here, if you click on them, it comes up with a material option. So you can adjust up and down that particular option, and then you res reset the default. Uh, same thing with a couple of them. You'll, you'll know. Some don't have anything. And some do. So we'll go back to the plane shader here. Uh, going down a little further, we've got our show edges. Curves, if I had any curves in there, we can turn off faces if we wanted. Uh, the camera has options in here. Uh, right now we're in perspective, so we can adjust the field of view. I like keeping it around 35 myself. You know, And then we can also turn it off. We can turn off perspective, and you can see... Now we lose the option to field view, but we can squish it. I guess if you want to make it anamorphic, I don't know. But, you know, it's a new option. So hopefully uh, we'll get some more camera options in the future. We'll see. But let's continue on here. We can open up our panels here. Let's go ahead and open them all up. And you can see what's going on here. So we've got the snap to grid. We got all the options right there. We can change it as we needed, turn it on and off. Uh, you got the basic units of the field right here of the grid. Uh, I've got mine set up at uh, mine set up for millimeters because I'm typically 3D printing out of plasticity, uh, but I do make things, you know, just random things every once in a while, but I keep the grid the same size, 256 by 256 by 256, which is my print volume. So, and then a line every 25 or whatever, but we can also adjust that. So that's what that's doing for you there. And then we got our snapping in general. You can just turn it off globally. And then you got the, you can keep it on and turn off your individual uh, control point, edge, curve, and all that other stuff there. So now that's accessible. And then we got our planes here. We can... I haven't played with it, but... Oh, okay. We can adjust the where the plane is. Hmm. Probably should have put the planes right below the grid. Would have made more sense. But, you know, that's just... That's just me. Okay. And then you got your selection down here if you click any object. It'll let you know the vo what it is, a solid. And it'll give you like the volume information and the coordinate type information going on there. So let's see, what else can we talk about here? Let's uh, continue up here. And you can see we have, we can select our orientation just by clicking on a grid on the little orientation cube up here. Be nice if it centered it. That's all right. Maybe though we'll fix that behavior eventually. So let me. All right. Continuing on here, I'm going to turn my shading back on. I like looking at my steampunk sh shotgun here. So, and if you guys are interested, you can grab this off of Gumroad and QBrush there. I got it on there for free so you can uh, follow along and check things out and just play with it. So continuing on in the space here, let's go ahead and go down here to our some of our basic tools down here. But we also have this little selection pop-up here that we can have all our general purpose, you know, things that you're probably going to use the most in here. It's kind of plasticity's favorites, just menu. And then you can also make up your own favorites menu. So... And it's all contextual, just like plasticity. It's uh, contextual, so if we select a solid here, it give us some of the options for it. Mirror, cut, raise degree. If we select a 
select an edge. We got different options here. So, and then you also got, let me escape out of that. Then you also have your, just your standard F menu. Has it gone anywhere that you can look through every single, every single thing you have here. And if you notice, I've got some things highlighted in green and those are hotkeys that I set up. So you can just right click, change shortcut, remove shortcut. I'm not gonna change that, but I did see a red one in here. Okay, let's see, suggested commands. Okay, that's what this is called down here. This is suggested commands. So let's do shift F, nope. Let's open that back up. And click on that. Well, let's just do shift P for now. <laughs> It's not quite the one I wanted, but you know, should P. There we go. So you can. I'm not sure what the default was. Let me see. I messed with it before <laughs> doing this tutorial last week. I messed with it, and I can't remember what the original one was. So remove shortcut. All right. Something else is interfering with that. I'll have to look that up. But that's what that red means. It means that you're, you've got a, a duplicate uh, shortcut in there. So I'll have to figure that out. Sorry about that. So let's just uh, move on. Okay. So, and like, and over here, you've got your toolbar that used to be over on the right side, but that is quickly changed. Just grab that top part, slide it over doesn't matter where it will stick to the right or the left side just depends on where you drop it so we'll just keep it over there so it's still here but it's just on the left hand side but like I said you can move it back over there then of course you got your right sidebar that you can close you got your left sidebar that you can close and open them back up uh, I believe if it hasn't changed control B only affects the okay so if you do control B, it does the left side, control shift B, it does the right side. Okay, so now you know the shortcuts for them. All right, so let's take a look at the outliner here. Nothing too spectacular here. It's all pretty much the same. Uh, we do have uh, some newer right-click options that you can uh, look at here. Uh, looks like you got some group selected items here. You can group... Selected items at root, move selected items to root. Well, that's interesting. I haven't played with that too much there. But you do have a lot more options when you right-click things in the menu. Uh, let's see here. It, like I said, it's all pretty much the same. You still have your visibility. You can turn everything on and off of that particular group. You can, this is also a, a visibility too. One's an actual hidden and then one is just actually turns it off it's almost kind of redundant really having these two but you know whatever and then you can also lock the selection so now you can't even grab it but you can still snap to it so that's that's nice still visible but you can't accidentally grab anything on there so turn that off let's see we do have something new in here it is the assets this is kind of cool so i haven't set these up yet but every material that we have in here has basically this material panel. Okay, I haven't named the materials yet, but you know, kind of cool that we could do this. So let's take, let's see if I can see this one. I'm gonna right click it, select all with this material. Okay, so you can see it grabbed, is basically the gunmetal. So let's go ahead, just name it gunmetal. Done. So now I have a gunmetal material that if I wanted to, I can add, you know, more items in here and then just 
So let's go ahead and get him back over here. See what happens when I create a new one. I haven't tried this yet. I want to try. Let's see. Oh, it's not quite there. Okay, hold on. Click it. Right click. No. I, I, I think I know where he's going with this. It's not there just yet. But I'm thinking it's almost going to have... Okay, so it's not quite there yet. So if I wanted to... Let's go to Outliner. Shotgun. So I still have to drag the material down like that. Okay, so I'm thinking... This is a work in progress here. So it's nice that I could select everything. So now if I select all with this material, you can see that too is in there. So go ahead and delete that. So I'm thinking there's probably going to be a drag and drop type thing down the future. Don't quote me on it. So but that would be kind of nice to be a little like key shot. Pretty nice little option there. So let's see. Let's go into preferences here. Not a lot's changed. Uh, you got your basic navigation. I got mine set up to Blender, so it's quick and easy for me to jump back and forth if I wanted to render this guy out. Uh, performance. Uh, you can change things like the ultra quality, fast. Just depends on how smooth you want the curves to be. So, if I come in here real, real close, you can start seeing the everything faucet. And there you go. Now you can start seeing it. So if I went to Ultra, that would be even smoother. So it's kind of, probably kind of hard to see, but you get the idea of that one. So I'll go ahead to Preferences here. See if there's anything new in here. Appearance does have some new options. You can uh, change the size of the edge in. In here, it doesn't happen right away. You basically have to restart Plasticity and look at... So you can increase the size of the edges, the drawn edges, and it'll give you, uh, you know, twice as thick or whatever. And then same thing with control points and vertices, curve segments, and all that other good stuff. But just remember, you have to re reset plasticity afterwards for it to take effect. So backup's pretty much the same. Server, space mouse, you got some options in there now if you're using a space mouse. General... Nothing to, it'll check for updates on startup, which is kind of cool. Advanced, I haven't played with this, so I ain't going to mess with it, especially when they have warnings on there. So go back to Outliner here, and that whole update thing, if you go down below your Manage License, you can see a current version 24.3.0 beta 42, which is the last beta before 2025 comes out here. But it'll let me know when there is an update to this particular version. And then you all you have to do is just click on it, and it'll take you to the website, and you can download right away and update your plasticity. So it's, it's getting a lot easier to update the program. So, But that is it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, I, like the, I like the new look. There's a lot of handy items in there, and I see some future things that might be coming down the road. So, but that's it for today, and we'll catch you in the next video. You guys have a good one.